What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing a brand new game to the channel, and it is Dragon Ball Super Fusion World. Now, this is the kind of step kid or the easier version to Dragon Ball Super Masters TCG. This is the one with the digital client. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to play this game, whether you're a new player ready to get your feet wet, or if you are a veteran player, maybe you don't need these tips, but everybody likes a refresher. So let's get right into it. So this is Dragon Ball Fusion World. This is a simpler version to uh, Super Masters, which is the original TCG that has been going on for seven plus years now. So uh, they Bandai released this client. So I've been having an absolute blast with this because if you're like me and you don't have a huge community at your LGSs in order to play this game, then the digital client is absolutely fantastic for players like myself or other people that really want to get you know involved playing this game. So we're going to go over everything you need to know on how to play this in a short amount of time. Okay, so let's break this down. If you guys are familiar with TCGs, all right, um, you have a lot of just cards in the game. So let's get the basics here. All right. So in Dragon Ball uh, Fusion World, every deck similar to Awakening is going to have a deck of comprised of 50 to 60 cards. You're going to have a leader, which you see here in uh, Broly. This is the leader that I'm showcasing for the video today. You get a leader and then they have an awakened side, which just means it's their stronger side. Now in us uh, masters, this happens much faster, but in this game, you have to get to four or less life in order to flip your card into its awakened side, which is the much stronger version. So you have leader cards, which I've just described. Then you have battle cards. Battle cards are going to be your characters, your minions, similar to, you know, your Pokemon and Pokemon TCG or your, um, creatures that you have in magic the gathering these are all of the um battle cards and characters that you're going to use to fight your opponent so uh after this we'll break down the, the the specifics of each card then we have extra cards okay extra cards which i need to take that back out extra cards are like our sorceries or like our special plays in pokemon where they're one time activated cards then they go away to the graveyard or in this case the drop Okay, and they act just like they would in other games. So let's break down all the different aspects of some of these cards just so you can kind of see how they work. Each battle card or leader has a power level in the top right, which is what you see here for King Vegeta at 15,000. Every card has a cost in the top left hand corner, which is going to be seven, which will cost seven energy. We'll get to energy here in a little bit. Uh, every card has a side number here, which is a combo piece, which we'll talk about when we get to battling. Um, of 10,000 and then each card has uh, effects on the card now compared to masters this is a much simpler and less text on the card which I think is just better for beginner players or people really trying to get into the game okay so that kind of breakdowns the different aspects of the cards okay in Dragon Ball Super Fusion World there is four different colors you have red you have blue you have green and you have yellow or orange it's I think it's just called yellow but these are the four different colors when building a deck you do have to have uh your deck has to be comprised of the same color of your leader which is what you see here all the cards in the in this broly deck are green because broly is a green leader you can have at a minimum of 51 including your leader up to 60 comprised of any number of battle cards and extra cards but you can only have one leader now let's get into some specifics and how the game works so here we are at the beginning of the game we are the second player all right at the beginning of the game you can roll a dice in the real world or in this it just automatically chooses so you're either first or second at the beginning of the game you're going to choose uh you get you draw six cards and you're going to choose whether to keep or change if you want to keep it you keep the six cards if you want to change it you mulligan and you swap all the cards i'm just going to keep this hand because i'm the second player so after that each player starts with a total of eight life okay this is going to be eight life drawn from your deck of cards being put over here kind of like prizes inside of pokemon so my opponent went and now it's my turn so this these are the phases so first we draw a card and we're in the charge phase charge phase is we choose in a, a one card from our hand and put it in our active energy area which is going to be down here in the left hand corner any card in your hand can, can be placed down into the charge area which this is your energy Energy is what you're going to be using to cast or place or summon your battle cards in Dragon Ball Super. So in this case, what I am going to do is I'm just going to charge my Vegeta. All right, because he had a five cost. And now I'm going to just cast 
this trunks you can see how he cast he costs one over here in the left hand corner we're going to select our uh energy that we're going to use to cast this also note that we do have an energy marker if you are the second player in dragon ball fusion world you start with an energy marker which acts as an extra energy once the energy marker is spent it is gone forever so use it wisely we're going to summon our trunks here okay now the trunks has an on play effect you can see here every card has effects some of them are vanilla like our majin buu here who has no effects the trunk says on play we draw a card so whenever there's an effect it's either going to be on play or activate you have stuff like this with trunks youth which is a permanent which means it's all the time uh, then you have an on play effect right then you have some that are auto once per turn this happens etc right so now that we have trunks out whenever you summon or a place a character or a battle card onto the field they can attack as you can see here every time that you attack with a card there is no like summoning sickness anything like that you can just attack freely into your opponent once you attack they're going to go into rest mode which is what you're going to see here our leaders are placed the first player if you go first you cannot attack and you also do not draw a card at the start of the game we're going to attack our leader now we're going to talk about a few things here so when you attack in a, an opposing leader or battle card everything is based on power level so i have a 15,000 power level as vegeta and goku has a 15,000 power level as bender when you are the attacker if the power levels are the same the attacker always wins if the defender's power level is high it just deflects and nothing happens okay so you're gonna see this here i just want to showcase this because we're just in a solo game so that way we can kind of go through this but we dealt one damage now when you deal damage to a leader they lose one life and they draw a card from the eight cards that they had for their life pool and add it to their hand now the second part of combat is comboing so now i'm going to use trunks to attack goku you can see that my my power level is only 5000 and goku's is 15. so i'm weaker so as the attacker any defender that's higher it basically just nullifies the attack and then nothing happens you don't actually lose your battle card you only lose your battle card as the defender but what i'm going to do is what's called comboing you can see that every card on the side remember i talked about comboing this has a 10,000 power level boost to your character for comboing but what you would do is you would combo the card away but what i'm going to do is i'm going to combo uh i'm going to combo my majin boot so again it's going to add 10,000 to trunks which will equal goku we're going to end the step there so he doesn't add any so he loses another life now after you combo as the attacker the defender also has an opportunity to combo once the defender has comboed and then the battle results that battle between the battle card and leader or leader versus leader is over so now i end my turn we're going to go to the end because i'm still in my main i can no longer attack and i can no longer play any cards because i want to save that energy now something to note here after combat trunks is in rest mode whenever you attack with a battle card or a leader you can see the leaders in rest mode this is where they're in rest mode which means they can no longer attack and they can no longer be used in a combo piece so but if your character is not in rest mode an opposing uh, an opposing battle card cannot attack a character that is not in rest mode so there's a little bit of strategy in that so he ended again we go to the draw phase uh and then we're going to charge and then we're going to go through the game again the game is pretty straight forward it's not a very difficult game in comparison to dragon ball super awakening but the game is just tons of fun i've been having so much fun with it and i really hope that this little intro guide kind of just helps you guys out so when your life hits zero or your deck is out of cards you lose the game so guys like the video we want it we got a light goal on this video for 25 likes please help me reach that goal make sure to comment down below let me know what you guys think about this if you are playing fusion world if you really enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace